James Cardoza, and right now I'm wearing a mask that I 3D printed, and what I'm trying to do is get it out to folks so we can do a plastic injection mold of this particular item. And um, what it is is it's quite simple, and it's not a big deal, and if you'll notice, I'm wearing safety glasses, so pretty much everything that they say that needs to get into the, uh, through the eyes, through the nose, or through the mouth is part of the issues, okay? So how do we resolve all this? And how do we take care of it? And I go out to my restaurants or my favorite places and my, my places of worship. Places of worship. You heard that correctly. So I'm more worried about that. You know, how can my church members meet together? How can we pray about this and make this all go by by? Okay? How can I go to work and make a living? How can I keep the economy going? How can I turn around and assist people and not be selfish about it? Okay? So that's what I want to do. So what's the story here? I have a mask on. It's plastic. Okay, what's the big deal here? No big deal. Everybody has a plastic mask. No, they have an N95, and it's a full cloth mask. Okay, folks? And that's not going to work because our health professionals need something too, right? They need to keep themselves safe. So we need to worry about them before we worry about ourselves. We're secondary. We stay at home. We isolate. We don't go out. This is going to keep us going out. It's going to make us allow us to you know, offer a solution to taking care of business and getting back to work. Frankly, you're not going to look silly. You're going to look real silly for the next six to eight weeks, okay? After six to eight weeks, you can take it off, and this thing should just die out on its own. Social distancing, hand washing, maybe some excuse me, rubber gloves, but whatever you need, you're going to have to take care of it. So let's go ahead and break this thing down a little at a time, okay? First of all, safety glasses, no big deal. They're your basic, ordinary type. Everybody has a set. Pretty much, I can't touch my face. There's nothing. I, no matter how much I try, I have to really get involved to get up underneath there to go ahead and take care of business because we all unintentionally touch our face, right? So this is the idea behind the safety glasses and the plastic goggle, okay? Sometimes it gets itchy underneath there. Well, just shake it around a little bit. No big deal, okay? So now, all of a sudden, I have a mask on. You're saying, hey, you can't go out to, uh, you can't go out to dinner. Oh, yes, I can because I'm just going to turn around and take this handy dandy right here. Okay, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put this on a clean napkin down on the clean napkin. I'm going to lay a napkin on top of it. I'm going to lay it off to the side. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to eat. I'm going to do whatever I need to do with my mouth, so to speak, and uh, take care of business and maybe give myself a good fresh air when I feel safe or nobody's around, okay? And then I'm gonna turn around and carefully, carefully, watch how I do it carefully after I've washed my hands, put this back in, snaps back into place. I've got myself an N95 fixture mask. Now I took this off an N95 mask, okay folks? An N95 mask I took it off, all right? And I also took this off my old boots, okay? You'll notice that it has a little bit of play in there. Now it goes behind the ears, and I might have to end up putting some uh, cotton or something in the back there to kind of take care of business, but it fits pretty good. And uh, what I'm trying to do is get folks to go ahead and uh, make this mold, okay? This is a plastic injection mold, all right? Let's take it off and take a real close look at it. This is the big, this is the key to it all, okay, folks? This is the key. And the key is this. I think we can see it pretty good. Yes, we can. Okay, there's two pieces to this. Right here is a piece of N95 mask that I just poured up. It was, it was a ruined mask. It didn't have anything. I actually washed it. I actually put it in the, uh, underneath the soap and water, and it fell apart. And I noticed there was one part that, for the front part. There was an inside part, which was a thinner area, pretty, pretty stiff and all that. But I was able to wash it out in soap and water and then let it dry. Actually, I put it in the microwave, believe it or not. You can put this in the microwave, sterilize it all day, or just put soap and water in it, okay? Comes in three different pot variety packs, okay? So, anyways, I was able to wash it, clean it up, took care of it. So that's how much I'm using of an N95 mask, and I can even use an old one that, you know, I have hitting around, right? But in a pinch, in a pinch, folks, we can use a coffee filter, okay? This is 20 microns, or a HEPA filter, down to six and seven. The virus is five. Okay, what's your choice? Well, you can double it up, right? Once you double it up, 
Well, that virus has to do a weave through that 20 microns and get into you. It's kind of almost highly unlikely unless somebody's spitting in your face. And folks, I don't think that's going to happen too often, especially with the social distancing and the hand washing we're going to do. All right, so the big thing is this is what it's all about, okay? This is what we need right here. You turn around. We designed this. It's already designed in a mold design. It's made out of uh, makethemasks.com. Makethemasks.com. And they already have design. The only problem is, is that this is uh, different features of someone's face. It may not fit someone's skinny face or someone's fat face or someone's round face or someone's square face. So, you know, there's going to have, have to be different varieties. I'm willing to turn around and design that into the mold and, and such like that. These, uh, these will pop off a mold and approximately once every 35 seconds. I need a national order. I know it sounds odd. Uh, I need a, a, a presidential order by Mr. Trump, President Trump, uh, to turn around and um, have 5,000 shops, have 5,000 shops designed and uh, not designed, excuse me, let me cancel that, to turn around and machine a pre-designed mold of this particular item. And they just pop off, just like, you know, the plastic parts on your phone, the plastic parts everywhere in your house. And they just pop off every 20, 30 seconds. It depends on how fast they make them, okay? And these can be made out of pliable material that, that actually bend and form. There's also another type of material that you actually put in hot water, you shake it off, and then you put it on your face, okay? And then when you do so, you actually form it to your nose, cranium, and, and different cheekbone types of, uh, of configurations, right? So anyways, you got this one right here. This is very simple. And you got this guy right here, okay? This mold takes approximately seven days to build. Seven days to build it, okay? Now, if I had 5,000 shops and in seven days I had 5,000 of these and I'm pumping one and when I put it to the plastic injection mold, I'm popping off one every 35 to 45 seconds, you do the math. But that's 220 million in eight weeks. Okay, but in the first week, I'm opening New York City. In the second week, New Jersey. Well, we don't have to do all those liberal cities. Let's, get, let's throw a Republican city in there. Let's, uh, how about Wiki Wachi, Florida? <laughs> well, we try different all sorts of opportunities. The big thing is, folks, is that we're trying to establish a safe way to go back to church, go back to school, go back to work, okay? Go to your restaurants. You may go into a movie theater. It's not going to be comfortable. But every time it starts being uncomfortable, I want you to think of the folks that are really uncomfortable because they just lost their job or the folks that are burying their loved ones because this virus has taken over. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about how God is playing a part in this whole role, okay? Now, it says the wise man in Proverbs, the wise man takes cover in times of danger whilst the simple-minded goes out and faces the consequences. Folks, let's not be the simple-minded. This is times of cover, and this is the cover, okay? Again, I'm trying to share this video. It's a very simple solution. That with your glasses, that with your rubber gloves. And folks, I believe that we could actually solve this problem within a week or two, and we could be opening up our country, and we can get back to church and go back to where we need to be and maybe just start to redefine who we are as a country, uh, one nation under God.